<clears throat> Comfortability is an illusion. I should probably promote elsewhere. Hello, Pac-Man. How you doing? Hello, the beast. Okay, okay. Let me know how the audio balance is once uh, the sounds start playing and once I start talking uh, alongside the sounds. Animal Crossing. Those are trees. Is the villager that's supposed to be right behind those trees going to move? It's not looking like it. <laughs> They're just not moving. waiting for them to move. <laughs> okay, they're not they're not going. Uh it was hard to tell who that was. I saw a bit of green, so it was either Drago or uh Gruff. Tyro Warrior sixty dollars? Yes it is. Hell to you too, purple stick. What an odd live stream. Yeah, I know it's early, but I wanted to get started streaming today a little bit early. So yesterday in game, one of my villagers, Aurora, wanted to buy uh, to trade me her electric. Or no. It was like a, a clothing piece for an 89,000 bell electric base. And at the time I was just wanting to give that to my, uh, to one of my villagers, Gruff, because I still haven't gotten his picture and that's a pretty expensive item. But basically, I decided, okay, well, you can't have this one, I'm just gonna buy another one for you. So I had to turn her down, and I don't like turning down villager requests. Just about to go to sleep. That's fair. Sorry for uh, interrupting your sleep. I'm gonna get rid of that rock right there. That's a new one that spawned in. Hello, King Dong. It is going well. What is this game about? It's about having fun and interacting with the villagers. Oh, there's Phoebe. Hello. 
So she was actually one of my very first villagers. She was the sisterly villager that came onto the island, alongside Antonio the Jock. Uh, this isn't the exact same Phoebe that started, though, because uh, the original one left, and in going through island tours a while back, I stumbled into Phoebe again. Of course, she didn't recognize me, because that's how the... Uh, that's how the programming works for the game. Um, as soon as they leave, they're basically, they basically forget everything that happened on the island. So this is an entirely different Phoebe, but she, she was here, so I was able to get her photo uh, twice now. This is Aurora. I don't, I don't like it when the the greetings for villagers uh, end up... Oh, I didn't even unpack it. Oops. Sorry. I don't like when the greetings for the villagers have no period at the end of it. And whenever you add it, they also can potentially have extra punctuation. It's... Uh, it's weird. There are some weird quirks with the greetings, especially with the normal villagers, and I have three of them. First time on stream, how are you? I am doing well, K-Maximum. Like your flag? Thank you. Phoebe, you got Phoebe on your island? Yeah, she's rad. Aurora is very cute. Um, my girlfriend actually gave me some, uh, two amiibo cards in the form of, like, coins. Like, they put the, the... NFC reader on the bottom of these little coins, and uh, Aurora was one of them because I stumbled into her on a uh, an island tour once, but didn't grab her because even though I was I thought she was really cute and I really wanted to get her, but I passed her up because I was looking for a different villager when going on those island tours and I never did find her, uh, so I regretted not getting Aurora. But my girlfriend was very sweet. She gave me. Uh, she gave me some little coins, and Aurora was one of them, so she's a campsite villager, technically. This is Sid. Uh, he's pretty fun. Uh, he was the first cranky villager I didn't, I didn't hate. And, uh, in fact, he's currently, of the current spread of villagers on the island, is the longest running one. I have none of the original settlers, including the peppy villager, lazy villager, and normal villager that you get right at the start. Um, even the smug villager, I hated Phil, who was my first smug villager at the campsite, and uh, I no longer have him. Hello, definitely not Nova. Hello, Crapocalypse. Uh, are people meant to look weird in this? Uh, I mean, you mean the avatars? You can kind of customize them however you want, and I normally don't wear the uh, the bandana. But yeah. Uh, I should go offload my inventory real quick. How's it going? It is going well. At least I hope it is going well. Looks like I just have decreasing prices this week because they have yet to go into large spike territory. Alright, let me get rid of all these tree branches. I was shaking a lot of trees yesterday trying to get the... Um getting acorns and pine cones just because I realized eh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, crafted seasonal items and November is almost up so looks like you've been playing for a while uh yeah I play at least once a day ever since the game launched.
Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go look for the message in a bottle. I've gotten a lot of DIY recipes, but I haven't gotten all of them. I know when it comes to getting new villagers on my island, I tend to go for uh, villager types that, well, appearances that I like, but also villager types that I need. And um, because there are certain types of villagers that craft certain things, for, like for a while I was looking for the um, infused water dispenser, and only uh, cranky villagers can craft that. So, uh, I ended up getting two Cranky Villagers recently, just for the sake of that, but neither of them ever wanted to craft it. In fact, Sid happened to be crafting it randomly out of nowhere, which is very lucky. Uh, so, there are only like a couple more recipes for Crankies that I need. After that, they're kind of obsolete, and Gruff is the first one to go, I feel like, because I, I like Sid. I want him to stick around. But I'm good for, like, peppy recipes, jock recipes, I think sisterly ones? Maybe I'm missing one. Normal for sure. I have three normal villagers at the moment. Never play Animal Crossing? Remind uh, watching it reminds you of Stardew Valley. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. There's really no goal to Animal Crossing. You just kind of play it. Find things to do. You, uh, just... Have a good time. You make your own fun, I, th I guess. It's also just really charming. You like Gulliver? Yeah, he's fun. He talks a bit too much for my liking, but he's fun. I also haven't run into my, uh, my visitor for the day. I'm gonna see what Julia is up to. She's just eating a sandwich. She was a recent campsite villager who just happened to show up. And she looked neat, so I grabbed her. Despite having the ostrich body, she's a peacock. I know for a while I was casually trying to go for the whole, uh, or not the whole, going for a mentality of if they are a particular skeleton, but the species that they are does not match the skeleton, i.e. if they look like an ostrich, but they are a peacock, in the case of Julia, then I'd, I'd want to get them. Also, this is Lily. She's my favorite villager. Stay safe on the road, have this. Well, it matches the colors, but I don't really like having a bicycle helmet just randomly. Nothing nicer than tuning into Animal Crossing stream while they hunt, hunt for Pokemon. Hope you're well. I am well today. How about you, Punked Fish? I hope you are doing well. But yeah, Lily's the best. Um, for a long time, I tried uh, going on many, many Nook Mile tours. Or, sorry. Yeah, I guess that that's accurate to call that. Call them that. Used a lot of Nook Miles tickets to uh, go look for Lily. Never found her. She was the second uh, villager that I got by using an amiibo coin. So I have my girlfriend to thank for that. Okay, good. So, I had given her two infused water dispensers, and she left one of them for a while on top of her, her uh, stove there. So, I'm glad I gave her a frying pan to actually put on top of the stove. Ta-da! Alright. Ugh. 
Lily has a cool bed. Yeah, uh, that's the rose bed. You can uh, you can craft that, and I actually gave her that one. She normally has a rattan bed, but uh, I figured the rose bed would look a little bit better with her aesthetic. This is my currently only smug villager, Huck. Uh, I can really only take one smug villager because uh, I'm not a big fan of their personality. My first one, Phil, was way more full of himself, and I did not like him. But Huck, I can get behind. Oh, it's Flick! Hello. I don't think I have any bugs that uh, I have ready to go for either an art piece or selling. So, might have to pass up on him. So, I've given him a few items already. Um... <laughs> Namely, the candy machine, the foosball table, the pool table, and the electric base, and the pinball machine. So, it's supposed to look like a jazz club, but I think I might have started turning it into more like an arcade or a, uh, a bar. You are totally fine. Definitely not Nova. At least you're not a, a male peafowl. Laughing noises number one. That's an adequate uh, response. Now let's go check in on my third normal villager. Does your island become a total disaster after not playing for a month like it did in the DS version? Um, I think you start getting overrun with weeds a little bit, but other than, the, other than that, I think all your villagers stay intact. They just haven't seen you for a while, so they don't remark on it. Ruff looks cool and I like his house design. Yeah, he he's another cranky villager I don't hate. Um, usually they look a little bit ugly, but, uh, and Gruff is not exempt from that, in my opinion. But his house is rad. Like, it's a jazz club, and I could not pass that up. On the internet, no one knows you're a male peafowl. That's very accurate. Lolly is adorable. For a while, uh, in this game, like, I've had her for a while as well. Uh, she is, was my favorite one leading up to having Lily. Like, I, I, I had Lily before in New Leaf, uh, and she was my favorite then, and she still is my favorite overall. But, uh, Lolly is definitely pretty high up there. She's adorable. Play New Leaf a lot. After a month, there are too many weeds and rocks to feasibly clean up. Yeah. Yeah. Old ones are definitely, uh... They definitely go hard on. You gotta play pretty often in order to keep up the integrity of your island. But this one is a little bit more lenient on that. Cockroaches in the house. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Uh, I haven't seen cockroaches in this game just yet. Mostly because I've been playing every day, and my house is, you know, decent. So I'm just checking to see if there's any stray villagers walking around out here. Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, let me get the daily nook miles. Is New Leaf the only DS Animal Crossing game? Uh, New Leaf is the 3DS one, and Wild World is the DS one. Uh, like original DS. You had the original Animal Crossing on GameCube, then came Wild World, then came City Folk on the Wii, I think? Uh, 
then was New Leaf, and now we have New Horizons. Mind you, those are all the American releases. Oh, sorry, international releases. I, I should I should uh, make that clear. Do I ever date skip? Nope. I do not like time traveling in a game like this. It's a real mariachi clothing? I, I had played a little bit of Wild World way back in the day, but it was on an R4 cartridge, so it, was, uh, it wasn't a legit copy. And that was back before I really knew about Animal Crossing to begin with, so I was just like, eh, this is alright. And then I played a, bit, a decent bit of New Leaf, and now with this, I've played once a day, every day since the launch. Also, Julia's catchphrase of Singe is not supposed to be hers. I think she took that from Drago, who's a... Uh, he's a dragon. He uses the alligator body, but he's a dragon, and that's pretty rad. Yeah, I had uh, I had Mystery Dungeon games on my R4 card as well. That's how I got to play Darkness. Uh, sorry, Explorers of Darkness. There he is. Hi, Drago. Phoebe, I delivered the thing. Where are you at? There you is. Let's see, who haven't I seen today? I think I've seen everybody, except for Rold, my newest villager. I got him at a campsite. He was a campsite villager recently, and I was like, huh, another penguin, and he doesn't look bad. I kind of like him. Also, I've completed my fossil exhibit, so uh, me analyzing fossils is just a case of, okay, I need some quick cash. Or, alternatively, daily nook miles. I am missing one fish and one bug, both of which I think are available in December. But I'm also missing a few sea creatures, which, uh... The last of which, I think, becomes available in March. Why'd you think Drago was an alligator? It's because he's, uh, because he's got the alligator body. Hello, Rold. And I still don't have enough friendship with him to gift him things. I only got him a few days ago, but sometimes I'm able to get villagers, you know, in the mood to be gifted pretty quickly. I guess he just didn't like his uh, his fish door plate I gave him. There he goes, though. He's on a mission. I don't know. I kind of find the dead eye stare of his adorable. Hey there, Sid. You sitting? That's cool. I'ma join you. What do you mean that's not how that works? I love that you can just plop down. Even, like, holding a, uh holding a net. I feel like you shouldn't be able to to do that. Most of the penguin villagers are adorable. I agree. 
I get your joke. I get your joke. That's a good joke. I don't want your phonograph. This feels like a gruff item. I'll take five. But also, I'll take five of these. I'll have a break, but I will also take, in the amount of five, this gift wrap. Thank you. I appreciate that that is your response to my joke. This is how comedy works, everybody. Oh boy, now I can be swole. Stink bugs are that bugs. Stink bugs are like sand that way. They're coarse, they're rough, and they get everywhere. Who wants a house tour? Yo, welcome to my pad. This is my living room. We got pictures of the best girls, Aurora and Lily. Sitting around. We got various items strewn about the walls. You want some fresh fruit? There's always some available on the table. And if you ever want to know what time it is, it's amazing. If you ever need to decompress, bring yourself to the zen area. You got a forest of bamboo just hanging out around you. The sound of water trickling from the onsen next to you it can be very relaxing. Alright. Enough relaxing. Time for the cool things. I wish I, w I wish this was ASMR. Unfortunately, no. Now we get to the cool shit. Welcome to the arcade. You got your fighting games, your mahjong games, your arcade combat games. You got a dart board. You got some board games, like some analog games that you can play with the uh, the host if you want to. My turn to roll. I think I got a five. How you doing, host? I forget what the item name is, but this is just a fake Dogu statue 
that you can buy from red. So if it has antenna on it, its eyes will light up at the in uh, at night, but it also just if you interact with it, it floats. Pretty neat cursed statue. Now let's check out our library. Happy Pizza Friday? Hell yeah. Everybody loves pizza and Friday. The song. And we need to just study. Well, we got a manga library for you. If you need to study your uh, various genres of manga, we've got kung fu action, superhero action, uh, vampire horror, sports anime manga, comedy manga, and adventure exploration manga. And indicated by all those little clothes up there. It's not a great way of organizing your manga by using clothes, but it's the best I could do. Thank you, definitely not, definitely not Nova. Let's head up to the the bedroom. I kind of waffle between what I like to have in this room and where, but this is usually where I go if I need to deposit my turnips somewhere. So I just toss them all over the ground. Uh, but as you can see, we have pictures of all the villagers that I have. Uh, uh, that I've wanted to get pictures of. So from top left to top right, we've got Antonio, Phoebe, Nibbles, Carrie, Phil, and Vesta. And then from bottom left to bottom right, we've got Ketchup, Sid, Lolly, Francine, Drago, who's hiding behind the uh, little books there, and Muffy. And then on the other wall, still a work in progress, we've got Huck, Annabelle, and Bud. There are definitely a few villagers that I did not bother getting pictures of, including Clay, Stu, Buck, um, Marina, who I kind of wanted to get a, a picture of, but never got around to. Um, yeah, those are like the big examples of ones I didn't get pictures of. They left before I wanted to spend time with them. <laughs> Play the Switch, you got it. Alright, that's enough Switch for now. Time to go check out the basement. Don't forget Chief. Oh yeah, I did forget Chief. Oops. Hey, how's it going, Night Puma? Alright, welcome to the basement where I literally just toss all the things that you'd find in a normal basement into the basement. So you've got stuff like papers over there in the corner, you got an alarm clock randomly on a cardboard box, you got a tool shelf, a ship in a bottle, a fax machine. A uh, treadmill, giant robot, trophies. Everybody loves trophies. So I've got the gold uh, Happy Home Academy uh, trophy for getting an S rank uh, for des interior design. I've got the gold fishing tourney one and the gold bug catching tourney one. Also, fake Rosetta Stone because why not? So you just need to wash your Landry. You got the automatic washer. Somehow made the basement look exactly like a basement. Exactly. It's where you get. It's where you put all of your junk. But it's all junk that you know you like, but you have no place for. And that's my house. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Cribs.
Okay. I don't have anything ready to go for Julia, so I guess I'll just go and give her a, uh, a fossil. And I'm gonna want to break that rock that just spawned in. How about any Allen wrenches, gerbil feeders, toilet seats, electricators, trash compactors, juice, extra juice extractors, shatter rods, and water meters? Well, there there's more to the the list of things, but I can't entire I can't really fit all of those into the the basement. At that point, it just becomes a hardware store. Uh, you can have a Tricera tail. So, Julia has a wrestler's uniform right over there, but that's only because she was gifted it from a, uh, from another villager as, like, a... F I had a fight with Julia. Let me go and give her this gift. Uh, and they gave that to her, thinking that it would fit with her. I mean, it, it's got a bird on it, and she's a bird. But, I don't know. Didn't quite work out. Now she just has it on display and doesn't really wear it. Also, rolled is home again. I have this sitting out because I want to gift him this next chance I get. However, he's not ready to be gifted things. But his house looks cool, no pun intended. Oh, he can be gifted things, what the hell? Why couldn't he have been gifted things in the... in the museum? Maybe he just wasn't ready to go before I talked to him. His uh, opinion of you went up in the last 10 minutes. Very true. I'm very surprised by that. What do you got? I could give him the instant muscle suit. That would look hilarious on him. A striped shirt? You gave Octavian a sushi outfit that he wears? Amazing. Ah, just a plain striped shirt. It's alright, I guess. Don't lie, the pun was intended. You caught me. I'm sorry. I lied to you all. I'm actually a pun master. Got it. No, she gave up. Proud of you, Phoebe. Oh, she's trying again. Hello, Depresso. Cancel this man for fibbing? Oh, no. Can't believe I get, I'm gonna get cancelled. Here, you missed this. Alright, no problem. See, I think I'm good for now. Like, I, I don't need to gift anyone else anything. Right now, it's just Rolled, Gruff, and uh, Julia that I want to gift things for the sake of their pictures. Oop. Bumped my microphone. I found a tangle in my hair, so I'm getting distracted by that right now. Give me a 
a second. Never forget, follow What a Geek on Twitter. You can find me at What a Geek on Twitter. It is a shiny Tangela, yeah. Although, it decided to use self-destruct because, as we all know, randomizers have a bad habit of giving Pokémon moves they shouldn't have. Here, you can have this Mammoth Torso. They never display fossils, but they are decently expensive gifts, so you can usually get... Uh, you can usually get items from them if you give them a fossil. If you give them clothes, it's unlikely that they'll give you gifts back. Because clothes don't really have a whole lot of value. Uh, let me get rid of some of this junk that I've accumulated. Actually, now that I can gift rolled things, I'm gonna... Actually, not the pirate bandana, that's a Gullivar thing. Now that I can gift rolled things, I'm going to buy that punching bag. And then just have it in my inventory for tomorrow, so I can gift it to him. I could just send it to him via mail, but... That's not what I'm here to do today. And now we switch from the nice and relaxing Animal Crossing to the Hack and Slash Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity.